Hi, hello, hey. So this video, I'm going to show you how to mix skin tones. Okay, forget that paintbrush. Most of this still applies with other mediums. It's just the only difference is watercolors are transparent and with other mediums, you would need more white. So I took out the browns because we don't need those, okay? This is about how to mix those. So I'll go over there. And I also thought I didn't have, thought this was clean, it's not. So I'll use this. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to mix skin tones. And with um, watercolor, like since um, the colors are so light, you can pretty much just use like a brown and then lighten it. And then you have like, you know, all the skin tones in between there. Yeah, so for mixing skin tones, you really only need to know how to make brown with watercolor. And then you have like light skin tones and dark skin tones, right? You just lighten it with water. So I'd say the easiest way to make a skin tone would just be to mix the primaries together. You know, red, blue, and yellow. And then you mix it till you have like a color that you like. Then there. And you have a brown. Ta-da! <laughs> And then one thing that I like to do, which is the second way, is I just mix two colors to make brown, which how you would do that is you mix colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. So I'll use this green, then I'll use the red, then look, it's a brown! And you can see the one that I mixed um, with all three colors is kind of more balanced. It's like a neutral brown. And this one's more of like a warmer one. Yes, yeah, so you can kind of um, experiment to see which one you like, I guess. Yeah, and then I guess you could do... Okay, it's like the same. That one's pretty similar. But yeah, so that's the second way. And then the third way, let me get this little hair or something. The third way, which I've seen people do, is they actually don't mix. They just kind of mix as they're painting. So I'll see people start with like a yellow. Then they'll add like red, you know? And then for a lighter skin tone, that actually looks pretty good. And then, you know, you can always add shadows with like a purple or whatever. Yeah, so that's one way. And then if you're using like acrylics or oils or gouache or like any other paint, then you need to add white. So to show you. And then you would have a lighter tone and then use this as a darker one. And I guess you could always add black to make it darker too. Or you could just use um, more concentrated paints and less water. So I'll try to get a dark one. This Yeah, in watercolors, um, you need like a million layers to build up any color. And then if you want like a specific skin tone, like one that's more warm or cool, red is how you get it to be more pink or warm. And then blue is more cool. And I say yellow, I would think of it as making it like brighter, if that makes sense. Yeah, and this is a cool yellow, so I guess, but yellow is a warm color. I don't know if you're using, like, if you used, like, this color, if that would make it warmer, too, I guess. 
but I just think of yellow as brightening the skin tone. That's how I think about it. Okay, so here is Sue is Sue two super quick sketches, and I'm just gonna use the colors we have. And this pen isn't waterproof, so um, yeah, it's gonna kind of bleed everywhere but yeah so just showing you what the colors we mixed looks like on a face and then if you wanted to add like you know some like blush to make it you know look like a face and then you could add a red just like straight red you know, and that's pretty bright, but it'll dry lighter since it's watercolor. Or you could add pink, and if you wanted to mix like a cool pink, I recommend mixing purple into it. And then you could add some white to make it a pastel color, and I want to add some more purple. Then you have a cool pink color. Yeah, you can also add blue or like shadows or something. I normally don't add blue, but I know a lot of people do. Or purple. I liked I like purple more for shadows. So here are my finished examples. And I mean, you know, there's, I could do a million different examples, but I think two is good. <laughs> but yeah, so, and if you, if I don't make sense and you have questions, you can always comment them. I really hope I don't watch this back and be like, what am I even talking about? So I finished up the page and I don't really like it, but I did this drawing next to it that I like better, so I'm just gonna show you that. That's what it could look like mixing skin tones. <laughs> but yeah, bye, thanks for watching.